the multimedia library at Sendai, built by Toyo Ito in 2001. Sendai. Population 1 million, 300 kilometers north of Tokyo. In the early 90s, the mayor was accused of accepting bribes from the building sector. The newly elected mayor, who wanted to show exemplary proof of transparency in decision making, launched a project for a multimedia library, an establishment hitherto unknown in Japan. It fulfills several functions. There is a library, a place to consult or borrow DVDs, exhibition galleries, and free access to the internet. The citizens' associations consulted about this complex program insisted that access should be free and without barriers. The competition winner was Toyo Ito, 54 years old. He is known for his light and random architecture, the Odato Dome, a U-shaped house, a museum at Yatsushiro. His proposal is transparent. The image of the building took shape right from the earlier sketches. Behind a glass facade, strange white tubular structures can be seen rising all the way up the media library, right to the top. It all started with the image of something floating in an aquarium. It's true that I spoke about seaweed, but that was to give an image of space that I wanted to make here, an extremely fluid space. One that, like water flowing, would constantly flow with air and light. In order to do that in three dimensions, to build that, I thought of using very organic structures as posts that I called tubes that are the composite bodies intended to hold up seven floors. The tubes are spread throughout the building. There are 13 in all. The four largest take up the four corners. Nine others are completely randomly placed. They have different diameters. They lean different ways. Their design differs, but they all have the same white tubular openwork structure that can be seen through. The largest of the tubes houses the vertical traffic flow, the passenger and goods lifts, and the stairs. All that is fluid flows through them, water and air, and also views and light. Seen from the sub-basement, the effect is vertiginous. The tubes seem to increase the sense of disproportion. They are twisted and lean as if wrought by a giant hand.
The steel tube structure, welded to story after story, ensures the vertical and horizontal stability of the building and sustains the weight of the platforms, the 80 centimeter thick plates. In spite of their delicate appearance, they are designed to stand up to earthquakes as violent as the one in Kobe in 1995. When dealing with load-bearing structures, the Bible for modern architecture relies on posts and beams with the floor above. In the Sendai Multimedia Library, they talk of tubes and platforms. The load distribution is different. There are no beams. The platform is made from a plate with vertical buttresses, a honeycomb structure welded to another plate. A thin metal sandwich such as is currently used in naval construction. Tubes and platforms make the multimedia library seem like a huge Meccano set in which the building requirements comply with Toyo Ito's graphic desires. The slimness of the platforms continues the image of the tubes that are themselves transparent. Only the ceiling of the ground floor shows traces of metalwork. On the roof, a metallic grille recalling the structure of the floors tops the 13 tubes that stick out above the building and mark the upper limits of the space. The multimedia library is a cube built in the town centre in a heterogeneous urban environment. The medium-sized building takes up the whole area of the 50 by 50 meter parcel. Each of the four sides is different. The southern wall is made of glass. To the west, the wall with the emergency exits is uniformly clad. For the eastern and northern walls, each story has a different finish. Transparent glass, polycarbonate, sandblasted glass, aluminium cladding, and, for the first two floors, transparent glass once again. Facing the trees, it is one big window. The double glazing of the façade keeps in the heat and the reflections multiply the effects of the play of light. <laughs> 